Welcome to Switched On Schoolhouse, a CD-ROM based homeschool curriculum from Alpha Omega Publications. In Switched On Schoolhouse English 2, your students will study units that cover topics from three major language disciplines, grammar, literature, and composition, with units like language structure, writing and reading skills, the development of English, studies in the novel, poetry, and much more. Now let's take a look at an English 2 lesson to see how concepts like these are covered. In a unit entitled The Short Story, let's look at a lesson that covers the short story called The Celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County. Most Switched on Schoolhouse lessons begin with a brief introduction and a list of objectives for the lesson. These objectives help students stay focused on important lesson content and provide parents with an effective way to measure mastery of lesson content. As students study, it's important that they understand that what they're learning fits into a timeline of history. Any linked date or major event within the text of the lesson provides access to an interactive timeline. The timeline provides information about great civilizations, historical eras, significant events, and persons from history. After this introductory material, your students then move independently through the lesson, reading the text-based instruction and utilizing the multimedia features that have been provided. Web-enabled links allow students to safely use the Internet to locate carefully chosen supplements to course content. A variety of audio-visual presentations, including videos, slideshows, and animations, provide reinforcement of lesson content. The city of Hannibal, Missouri is proud to have been the home of Mark Twain from when he was four years old in 1839 until 1853. The city, located on the banks of the Mississippi, remembers Twain's writings with an annual reenactment of the painting of the fence similar to the one Tom Sawyer was supposed to paint. There's even a jumping competition between celebrated frogs. The Mark Twain Outdoor Theater keeps his stories alive, while statues of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn stand as permanent reminders of the author who made this Missouri town known. Many lessons include small instructional videos, sometimes called Tiny Tutors. The teachers featured in these small video clips provide special instructions, additional information, and important tips for students. Though he lived nearby in Tuolome County at a mining camp called Jackass Hill, Mark Twain visited Angel's Camp a number of times, where he spent much of his time playing billiards at the Angel's Hotel Saloon. On February 20th, 1865, the saloon bartender told Twain a story about a man and his jumping frog. Twain soon transformed the story into Jim Smiley and his jumping frog. When the story was published later that year, it brought Twain international recognition. The story appeared under its current title in 1867 in a collection of Twain's Western writings. Many language arts lessons include excerpts from literature for students to read and study. Let's take a look at this example from the celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County. At the end of the lesson, the student is presented with a series of questions that provide a review of lesson content. Questions are presented in a variety of formats, including matching, fill in the blank, correct, true and false, sequencing, multiple choice, multiple select, click and place, essay questions, and many more. You got the right answer. 85 to 90 percent of student work is graded instantly by the program. Correct. Answers are automatically saved as the student works through the questions and immediate feedback is given after each question has been answered. 
Good answer. If a parent has set the program to allow for multiple attempts, students will be looped back through the lesson to answer questions that were marked wrong on the first attempt. Good answer. The lesson is complete when all questions have been answered correctly or when the student has exhausted his allowed attempts on each question. The student can then return to the home page to continue through the rest of his daily assignments.